How you doing everybody? I'm Brad Gilbert and welcome to Sports School. We're gonna work on the serve. I feel like it's the most important shot in the game. It's the only shot where your opponent doesn't have the chance to stop you. If you throw it up and do something good, you're in great shape. And don't forget that here on Sports School, you can use your own remote to stop, pause, rewind, and fast forward any of the training techniques that we are demonstrating. This means you are in total control. You can learn at your own pace. When you're serving in the deuce court, the strategy on serving on this side, you have three options. You got the down the middle serve, you got the body serve, and the out wide serve. The reason why you want to serve wide is to open up the court so possibly you get a short ball. The next key after you hit a good short wide serve, don't stand there and admire your serve. Because all of us are like, oh, I hit a good serve. Get ready to hit your big forehand. I almost call it, it's two parts. You serve and you get ready to hit that forehand. Serve, stick and move. The next serve that you can use is the body serve. You remember Pat Rafter? He was the king of the body serve. He liked to really get you in, in a jam position, get you in an awkward position where maybe you can only bunt the return back. Or for you people at home that like to serve in volley, the body is a great place to serve. And the last one, maybe the most important, is the down the tee. You know, they call it the T-bone or the middle serve. You go right down the middle, and that's the one where you really want to win the point, your kill serve. Now, I like to go for like that big one every once in a while because I kind of like get to the old rush of blood. The key on the serve right down the middle, don't aim right for the line, and try to get your toss as far as you can out in the court. And this is one you really want to go for it because it's low over the net. It's the lowest part of the net. And if you make it, you want to make it with a little pop. You don't want to make it like, you know, 20 miles an hour. It's not going to hurt your opponent. So this one here, when you really line it up, you want to throw it out there, and you really want to try to crack it. Because all of a sudden, if you hit a good one, you might hit that game winner, you might hit that ace. But remember, when you're going up the middle, it's the lowest part of the net, put a lot of pop into it, and don't aim for the lines. We're never good enough to hit the lines. I've been playing this game 40 years, I still can't hit the line. So the strategy to serve, remember you can go wide to open up the court. You got the body serve to give your opponent no angle, so all of a sudden he's in trouble. And then you use the T-bone for the big one where you're gonna try to win the point. Those are the strategies on the deuce side of the court. And if you can do these, your serve is gonna get a lot better. Now we're gonna go to the ad side of the court. This is for you right-handers at home, the tougher side. For you lefties, you're at home on the left-hand side. Just like in the deuce court, you have three options on the ad side of the court. You got the down the middle serve, you got the body serve, and the toughest one for a right-hander, the out wide serve. Now the difference between this serve on the deuce side of the court and the ad side of the court, I feel like in the deuce side of the court for a right-hander, you can hit the serve much flatter. Do you feel like on this side you have to put a lot more slice? Absolutely. I feel that if I want to serve consistently at the tee here, I need that spin for that, that extra control. All right, show me a good slice down the middle. Oh, that's a good serve right there. See, like when I go for the slice too, on, on this side, you might throw the toss just a little slightly to the right so you can really see how I'm slicing it. Just like in the deuce court, the same serve that you're hitting the short out wide one, you need to do a little bit on the add middle serve. You got to put that little short slice into it. Those are like two best serves I've hit all week. All right, Julie. Oh, there's a good body serve. You know a pretty good female that used to like the middle serve on the ad side? She'd set her forehand up. She said, every time I had a good serve in the middle, it was Steffi Graf. She'd hit that good hard serve in the middle. She'd feel like the person have no angle, and then she goes, that's it, I'm hitting a forehand. If I'm hitting a forehand, I'm in great shape. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the toughest one. For some reason, my whole career, I was a sucker for going wide. I always like to hit this one under pressure. Probably guys knew it, but I felt like if I could hit the hard flat one out wide, maybe I could sneak serve and volley. Remember on this serve, 
This is the higher part of the net, so you got to get a little more height. When you're going to the body or you're going down the middle, it's the lower part of the net. So remember, when you're going wide, the net is six inches higher. You need a little more height on your serve. So remember the options, just like the deuce court. You got the down the middle serve, you got the body serve, and the toughest one for a right hander, the out wide serve. Those are the keys to serving well in the ad side of the court. Weighing your options on the serve, the big dilemma. High percentage or to go for it? Julie, what do you tell most players to do? High percentage. So with club players, you, you feel like it's a better idea to get a high percentage. All right, let's take a look at a few serves. Right, show me your percentage serve down the middle of the court. Good. Now show me your percentage serve out wide. Excellent. When you have a lead, 30 love, 40, 15, that's the time to, okay, I don't need to be conservative. I can go for that big one down the middle. But when you're down love 30, 15, 40, that's the time where percentage is the best play. All right, Julie, let's see your second serve. All right, very nice second serve right there. She gave herself so much room deep in the court, and that's a serve right there that you can practice at home so much. Because remember, if you put your second serve just nice, solid, deep in the court, you're in the point. You don't want to try to hit too aggressive of a second serve or not too weak of a. Remember, the second serve is just getting you in the point. And if, against other club players, if you're a 3-5 or 4-0, you're making 95 to 98% of your serves, you're going to win a heck of a lot more matches. Now we're going to take it to one of the toughest things to do in serving, the serve and volley. It's a great mix-up. You're probably going to do it a lot for doubles. For me, the thing that I really want to do when I'm serve volley, I want to get my toss as far forward as I can so I can really launch myself into the court. What a lot of people get in trouble with, when you bounce the ball and you serve, if the toss goes behind you and you make contact here, and then basically your momentum stops here. So watch as I, I'm really going to try to get my toss forward, and I'm going to try to get to the net as fast as I can. I don't want to serve and like literally walk to the net or jog to the net. I want to try to serve and explode to the net. The closer I am to the service line, the easier the position I am for volleying. And remember, you're not volleying before you serve, because a lot of us serve and volley, and they want to volley before they serve. Serve first, move to the net. Couple of bounces, really get your toss forward, and get as fast as you can to the net. But the biggest mistake that guys make on the serve and volley is they're thinking about volleying first. Remember, serve first and get as fast as you can to the net. There's no time for walking. Get there as quick as you can. The closer you are to getting to the net, the easier the position you are for volley. This is a great mix-up, and you'll probably want to do it a lot in doubles. The big question now, once you're going to serve and volley, the where to. The one thing you don't want to do is throw the ball toss up and all of a sudden decide where you're going to serve. It's tough enough to serve and volley as it is. So already, like, once I get to the line, I'm thinking, serve wide, serve and volley. Why do you like to serve wide and serve and volley? Because I feel like if I serve wide, all of a sudden, I'm going to cover down the line because it's a shorter part of the court. Stefan Edberg, who was a great serve and volleyer, liked to serve to the body a lot because he was so fast that when he would serve to the body, he could get in closer to the middle of the court and help cut off the angles. Then some guys like to go for the big serve down the middle, and all of a sudden, because even though it's a, the shortest part and the lower part of the net, easy place to get into the middle of the court. So you can go all three spots. I tend to be, when I was a serving volleyer, go wide. A lot of good servers like to go middle. Some go body. But the key is mixing them all up. Never go the same every time. So your opponent, if, if I go wide every single time and serve and volley, my opponent will know it. So make sure you mix up your serve, try to hit to all three spots. Obviously, you'll do one more than the other, but don't show your hand, and that's the key to serve and volley. 